I'm Neve Jones. Myself and my husband Neil Jones run Kitchen Garden Plant Centre. We were due to be with you at Tutton Park today at the Plant Village. Uh, we were there last year at the Dig In Theatre. We were due to be showing you a display of herbs and edibles that are good for this time of year. Uh, instead, here today we've got a selection of herbs to show you. So we do do potted herbs. They, the herbs look fantastic in these terracotta pots. We also do planted borders within the, our displays. Today we've got um, a few different herbs to show you, uh, some of which are my favourites as well. Uh, I take, for example, this lemon verbena, Aloisa citradora. It reminds me of going on down to see my grandparents with our quarter of lemon sherbet. Literally, if you take a, a, a leaf off the lemon verbena, it honestly tastes like lemon sherbet. It's great in cakes. It's also great with fish. It's got this lovely lemon aroma as you brush by. So it's fantastic for just outside your kitchen door. It can go quite woody at the very base. Uh, what you can do is cut that right back and you get this nice new bushy growth. It grows about a meter. Um, it likes free draining soil and just a beautiful herb for the garden. So Halicrytum italicum microphyllum is this one here. It's a curry plant. So again, it's a lovely one that you can brush by. It's a nice dwarf variety. There are the Halicrytum italicum, a more typical curry plant has got a, a broader leaf than this. This one's got a much smaller, slimmer leaf. Um, it has these beautiful sprays of flowers uh, that are with us throughout much of the growing season. This one here, when I work with it, it makes my hands feel fantastic. It's like natural moisturiser. It's brilliant. Over here, we've got Levostichum officinale. It's lovage. Absolutely fantastic as a, a stock base for soups and stews. Uh, used a lot in Eastern Europe. Um, and it originated in Italy, I believe. It's got a celery-like, orange-like flavour, stock, typical stock flavour for soups and stews. It grows about two metres. It grows quite bulky and big. You can cut it right down to the base, which is fantastic for me because then you can keep good control of it. So if it's if you find it's getting too big, just chop it right back to the base. So back here, I've got Vietnamese coriander. It is Persicaria odorata. It is a great one for Thai cooking. It's got a coriander citrus like flavor, but with a bit of a kick. Um, it's often paired with lemongrass and it's always thrown in at the very end of the dish. Uh, otherwise you lose its flavour. It's got a nice, strong, sharp taste. It's very easy to grow. Uh, you can be quite hard with it again. So I love herbs like that where you can just cut them right back and it will regrow. It's also very easy to root. It likes nice, damp, but rich compost. Uh, you can root it in, in water as well. Over here, we've got a, a grouping of tarragons. Now, this one here isn't quite a true tarragon, but I love it. It's actually a marigold family. It's Tagetes lucida. It has uh, marigold-like flowers. The leaves are a lot stronger tasting than French tarragon. So I would use it sparingly to begin with uh, until you get used to how it flavors your dish. Again, it's better if it's thrown in at the towards the end of cooking, so you're not overcooking it. But it's a beautiful herb to have in your garden. It is a bit tender, so you do need to give it some frost protection as well. Here is your very typical French tarragon, Artemisia drununculus. It is the one that's used in French cooking, as opposed to the Russian tarragon here, which is much easier to grow. So the French tarragon has a, a much shorter growing season. It, um, it only really starts to take off in growth in May time. 
So if you don't see it doing much to begin with at the start of the year, don't worry because the likelihood is it will come back, but much later on in the season. So at the moment it's really sprouting up um, nice new tall growth. You can nip it back just to get that bushier growth. It's it's a, just a fantastic herb to have. It's used in um, both in thin herb uh, as well as part of that typical French mix. This Russian tarragon here, Artemisia drenunculoides, it is a, a false tarragon. It's much easier to grow as I said. Uh, it has its nice lovely tarragon foliage, very, gets very big um, and very big quite quickly. Uh, you can cut it back quite hard again, uh, but it's got a much tamer flavour. You almost need to wait a few years until it matures a bit to get a more tarragon-like flavour. I've got Salvia officinalis, sage tricolour. It's got, you can use it exactly like sage. Um, some of these ornamental, more ornamental looking sages can be used just as you would ordinary sage. The tricolour leaf I love because it's got these purple and pink tinge to the leaf. Um, so it's nice and attractive in the garden. It is more tender than your typical sage, but it, it we found it quite robust as well. So that's a really lovely one for your garden. With the, the lemon verbena, must have for, for your, your garden. Vietnamese coriander, a Russian tarragon at the end there. Just some wonderful herbs to add to your collection. You can order from us online um, at kitchengardenplantcentre.co.uk. We grow in peat-free compost, which is a really nice open mix, which we find is very useful, especially for the more Mediterranean herbs at nice and nice free, open, free draining soil. A few notice our grey recyclable pots as well. So a lot of the councils now are starting to recycle these pots. So do, do recycle where possible. Uh, we, when we package our herbs for uh, online sales, we um, package them in cardboard as well, individually wrapped so that they keep them nice and fresh. You can order from us, as I said, online. Have a look at us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and hope you enjoy Tap the Park.